Hello, everyone. Good evening. Um, I'm Lillian Linkhart, senior class president. And as such, I want to welcome you to Greenview High School's commencement ceremony for the class of 2019. We appreciate that you have chosen to celebrate with us this evening. We realize that we would not be here tonight without the collective support of our parents, relatives, friends, teachers, school leaders, community, and many others who have touched our lives throughout our educational journey. Before we begin our program, I would like to specifically recognize those individuals who have taken on a direct role in our education. First and foremost, we feel privileged to have attended a school where the faculty and staff know us personally and are committed to our success on an individual level. Will all district teachers, aides, office personnel, and support staff stand at this time to be recognized? We would also like to acknowledge the Board of Education members with us this evening. Although we do not always have direct contact with you as students, we understand that you make difficult decisions that have made the Greenview Local School District into our second home throughout the last four years. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Audience, please hold your applause until all board members have been announced. Board President Suzanne Arthur and board members Angela Reagan, Teresa Wallace, Todd Ireland, and Scott Powers. Also sitting on stage are several other school leaders who have been instrumental in our educational experience. Again, please stand as your name is called, and audience, please hold your applause until all names have been announced. Greenview Local School Superintendent, Mr. Isaac Sievers. Greenview Local Schools Treasurer, Mr. Jacob McGrath. Greenview Local Schools Special Education Coordinator, Mr. Jacob George. Green County Career Center Superintendent, Mr. David Deskins. Senior Class Advisor, Mr. Paul Thompson. Middle School Principal, Mr. Denny Morrison. High School Principal, Mr. Neil Kasner. High School Assistant Principal, Mr. Mike Ty and guidance counselors, Mr. Jeff Sipes and Mrs. Kim Reffitt. We would also like to thank our band director, Mr. Mike Bush, and choir director, Mrs. Karina Clark, for leading the musical portions of our ceremony, and our underclassmen National Honor Society members for distributing programs and ushering. Leading our seniors in this evening, were Abby Baker and Bradley McCoy. The class of 2019 is proud of the men and women who have chosen to serve our country and protect its freedoms. We ask that those in the audience who have served in or are currently serving in the armed forces, please stand to be recognized. We are especially proud of those in our graduating class who have chosen to join this fraternity of men and women in uniform. We invite those from the class of 2019 who have enlisted in the armed forces or have been intend to, en to enlist to the stage to be recognized during the singing of our national anthem by Greenview Sensation Show Choir. Audience, please hold your applause until all names have been read. Trevor Brown, United States Marines. Quentin Conley, United States Air Force. Rihanna Hildebrandt, United States Air Force. Riley Kilbarger, United States Army. Chris Query, United States Army. Taylor Stinson, United States Air Force. Crystal Turner, United States Marines. Caleb Van Hoard, United States Air Force. At this time, we ask that you remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Oh, 
Hello, my name is Bryce Ratliff and I'm Student Council Vice President. While exchange student Margot, Senior Class Vice President Matt Grasson, NHS Vice President Hannah Engel, please join me up on the stage at this time. With us this evening is our special friend from the Ukraine, Margot Volovic. We are blessed to share our lives with Margo, and who addressed her classmates at the Senior Class Awards program last week. In just a moment, as a symbol of our friendship and goodwill, we will continue a long-standing Greenview tradition in exchanging our flags with our foreign exchange students. Before we do, please join me in thanking Margo for enriching our lives this year. During the flag exchange, our Sensation Show Choir, led by Karina Clark, will perform the Greenview alma mater. While they are singing, Greenview student leaders will exchange flags with Margot. At this time, please stand for the singing of our alma mater. Good evening. I'm honored tonight to introduce salutatorian Emily Smith. Emily finished high school with a 4.6 grade point average and will major in cognitive science at Case Western Reserve University. Please join me in welcoming Emily Smith to the podium to address her classmates. Thank you, Mr. Tai. Welcome, fellow students, parents, teachers, and other esteemed guests for joining us tonight 
to make Greenview High School's 2019 graduation a night to remember. It's astonishingly hard to write a speech with advice for a group of teenagers, uh, so instead, this speech is for the kids that I grew up with, the kids who dressed up for the third grade fairy tale ball, the kids who played in the marshes at Camp Gurdon in fifth grade, the kids who felt like royalty at the eighth grade farewell and only dreamed of the day that they would get to wear prom dresses and tuxedos. Tonight, these kids will celebrate the culmination of these 12 long years, graduation. Unfortunately, this is the last time that many of us will see each other. From here, we go our separate ways. We will miss friends, we will miss family. Some of us might even miss cafeteria lunch food, though I sincerely doubt it. But most of all, we will miss the time we've spent growing up and making memories. Of course, not everything is going to change. We will still have friendships that we can never forget. We will still have questions about life and the universe and everything that we really don't understand. And of course, we'll still have Wikipedia and Quizlet to help us find those answers. The sun will rise and set, and life will go on. We've spent the last 12 years finally picturing this moment when we get to say, we did it. But this is only the beginning. From here, the world becomes our playground. Life becomes our classroom. Classmates become co-workers, and kids become adults. Education didn't just prepare us for life. It is life. If I can leave you with one thing, it is to stay curious, kind, and maybe just a little bit crazy. Don't be afraid to put down the map and let yourself get lost once in a while. Try new things with a smile on your face. Never stop learning from the world around you. As Mark Twain said, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. Thank you. I'd now like to invite our senior choir ensemble to the risers. They will be singing Elvis's I Can't Help Falling in Love with You.
Again, I'm proud to introduce um, our valedictorian, Kevin Combs. Kevin finished high school with a 4.7 grade point average and will major in media communications at Asbury University. Please join me in welcoming Kevin Combs to the podium to address his classmates. Thank you. Mr. Kasner told me this speech was due a week before graduation, but when I asked him about it again, he made the mistake of telling me it was more of a loose deadline. So like all of my other schoolwork, it got pushed to the very last minute. But I finally did it, and I would like to start with some thank yous. First, I want to thank my family for pushing me to be the best student I could be. <clears throat> and I want to thank God for gifting me with a nerd brain. I want to thank the teachers of Greenview, because we were blessed with some of the best around. And I want to say thank you to the boys for being the best friend group around and always providing a needed distraction from my homework. Thank you to my track coaches for pushing me to be the best athlete I can be. Some of the most profound advice I can remember comes from my high jump coach, in which every day he would tell me, jump up. And that's really stuck with me. <laughs> I also want to thank our bus driver from the senior trip for not driving us off a cliff when we sang country roads at the top of our lungs but we were driving through West Virginia, so we kind of had to. Now, when I was trying to figure out what to say in this speech, uh, my sister suggested I sing the Nine Million Minutes song from The Office when Michael Scott leaves, and I thought that was a really good idea. <clears throat> now, despite this choir robe I'm wearing, I'm actually not going to sing that for you, thankfully, but I did still sit down to do the math. I've found that we've spent around 328,000 minutes in high school give or take a bit of that time for some of us because apparently the school administration doesn't like it when you take a mental health day to go see Avengers Endgame. <laughs> Either way, 328,000 minutes, that's still a huge amount of time. To give you graduates a sense of scale, that many minutes is almost as long as we spent in that bus inching towards New York on the senior trip. <laughs> and to you parents, you can imagine, imagine it as the amount of time it feels like you've spent at boring ceremonies like this one for your kid. So clearly to all of you, it's a long time, but do not worry, I do not plan on this speech taking near that long. In fact, I hope to be wrapping up in 20 or 30 minutes. But 328,000 minutes of high school, where did they all go? Well, I can tell you that 11,000 minutes were spent in advisory, where sometimes FitCom would play, and sometimes, just sometimes, we would turn on the audio so you could hear us. About 2,000 minutes were spent playing Kahoot in class, where the real challenge was always coming up with the stupidest name. 360 minutes were spent in mock Congress, something we stressed for weeks and weeks about. But the only thing I can remember now is how Prater couldn't figure out the stopwatch. <laughs> about 10,000 minutes were spent in Ms. Geringer's class, which if you were fortunate enough to share that class with me, you know that 9,999 minutes of that class were spent singing Devil Went Down to Georgia, and The Rainbow Connection. But hundreds and hundreds of minutes were spent in the many assemblies, which are all a little fuzzy in my memories now. There were just so many. We had pep rallies, and pep rallies, and talent shows, and pep rallies, dodgeball, handball, basketball, culture fairs, turkey bowling. Anything you can think of, we had an assembly for it. 113 minutes of our high school career were spent at the movie theater, together watching the movie Wonder, in order to discourage bullying in our school. However, I don't think it worked because Mr. Thompson still kept pushing me in the hallway. <laughs> but that's probably because about 12,000 minutes were spent by all of us arguing with Mr. Thompson. Not to mention the shirts I made of his face. About 400 minutes were spent retrieving people's lost phones on the senior trip. You know who you are. And it only took about 10 minutes for the greatest school-wide group chat to end when the infamous mass email got shut down. Rest in peace. And it only took about one minute for Miss Geringer to destroy Reese in a dance-off at prom. <clears throat> now, that's not to mention the countless minutes we spent actually learning. But let's be honest, those were never going to be the things we remembered from high school. Now, if you've been adding along with me along the way, that does not add up to equal 328,000. Because if I've learned anything from calculus, it's that I'm not a good, as good at math as I thought I was. But the point is, your minutes in high school are up. Whether they have been the best four, year, four years of your life or the worst, they're done. And now you get a fresh start. 
And I challenge you to use your minutes wisely. Now, I'm not saying that means work hard every second of your life. Rest and fun are just as important. But I'm also not saying party or sleep your life away. As my mom always says, everything in moderation. This speech is just as much a message for me as it is for you, because as I stated at the beginning, I have a bit of problem with time management myself. But these coming years are the foundation of our adult lives. So if we are wise with how we use our minutes now, then the golden hours of our life may have just begun. Thank you. For those of you who've been to graduation before, you realize this is the moment we've, we've come here for. And as we prepare to um, certify and present the graduating class of 2019, I wanted to take a moment to, to tie a bow on what Kevin said there. Um, I'm encouraged continually by the selfless service and sacrifice of our staff. Um, they chose this not because they love math, not because they love English or social studies or science, but they chose this because they love kids. And they chose this because relationships matter, and you matter. And as I was thinking through this evening and thinking about um, something that I had read recently in a book called Culture Code, it was a study, a research of, of successful cultures. And they followed Zappos, and they followed Pixar, and they followed um, uh, other food companies, Disney. And what they noticed was there was a sense of belonging. And it was a close-knit group. All successful cultures begin with relationships. See, relationships matter. What we do and how we interact with each other matters. Over the last 13 years, I, I want to take a moment, just think, start in kindergarten. Who was your kindergarten teacher? First grade? Second if you're like my wife, you can go through all of them, including the order of each of those classes in 5th through 12th grade. I have a fuzzy memory someplace between 4th and 12th. My guess is you can remember far more teachers and relationships than you can lessons and assignments and projects. The same holds true for the careers that you're choosing to go into. The Navy SEALs begin with relationships. Before they work on anything else, they start there. Whether it's in your home, whether it's in your workplace, whether it's in the community where you live, I want to encourage you to build relationships first. Because upon that, successful businesses, families, and communities grow. I'd like to ask all of you to please stand. Graduating class, please take your stand. At this time, I'd like to ask Ms. Ann, Mrs. Suzanne Arthur, School Board President, please step forward to the table. With the authority invested in me by the State Board of Education, I now declare that members of the graduating class of 2019, they have met the prescribed graduation requirements of the Greenview Board of Education and the State Board of Education. Mrs. Arthur, will you please present the diplomas? Graduating seniors, I'm gonna ask the first row to remain standing. All other rows, please sit down. And one at a time, you'll move to the wall here. Congratulations, graduating class of 2019. Cassidy Linnae Adkins, daughter of Aaron and Jessica Davidson, will attend Clark State Community College and major in criminal justice. Bailey Lynn Anderson, daughter of Jesse and Heather Anderson, will attend Southern State Community College and major in optimistionary. Yeah. Drew Douglas Aerosmith, son of Cheryl Osborne and Douglas Aerosmith, will attend Bluffton University, majoring in forensic accounting. Gavin Bays, son of Tanya and Andy Bays, will be entering the workforce in the field of music production.
Jenna Pearl Baker, daughter of Dean and Stephanie Baker, will attend Brigham Young University and major in health science. Brooklyn Biggs, daughter of Amy and Mike Biggs, will attend Wright State University, majoring in psychology. <laughs> Lysandra Bottorf, daughter of Michelle and Boyd Bottorf, will attend Brigham Young University, Idaho, majoring in business. <laughs> Samantha Raylan Bowser, daughter of Tori Kirsch, will attend West Virginia University, majoring in wildlife and fishery resources. <laughs> Jonathan Allen Brakall, son of Bobby and Brian Haynes, will attend Sinclair Community College, majoring in accounting. <laughs> Trevor Jacob Brown, Son of Jessica and Joe Brown, his future plans are undecided at this time. <laughs> Jarrett Brundage, son of Brandy and Marcus Lahote, will attend Sinclair Community College, majoring in exercise science. <laughs> Dalton Michael Bull, son of Gary and Kim Bull, will attend Wilmington College, major in agriculture. <laughs> Anna Burkhard, daughter of Sherry and Richard Burkhard, will attend Clark State Community College, major in veterinary technology. <laughs> Madeline Lee Cadwalder, daughter of Margaret and Chris Cadwalder, will attend Ohio University and major in communication studies. Trevor James Campbell, son of Angela and Roger Campbell, and his future plans are undecided at this time. <laughs> Nick Clevenger, son of Philip and Jennifer Clevenger, will attend the University of Cincinnati, majoring in chemical engineering. Kevin Bradley Combs, son of Kelly and Jody Combs, will attend Asbury University, majoring in media communications. <laughs> Quentin Ryan Conley, son of Ryan and Amy Conley, will enlist in the United States Air Force. Emily Dawn Crum, daughter of Ben and Tammy Crum, will attend Sinclair Community College, majoring in childhood development. <laughs> Lily Marie Colbreth, daughter of Alec and Heather Colbreth, will attend Ohio University and major in nursing. <laughs> William Gage England, son of Chantel Joseph and Bill Price, plans to enter the field of construction. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Engel, daughter of Alan and Amy Engel, will attend the University of Cincinnati, majoring in political science. <laughs> Luke Anthony Evans, son of Anthony and Angela Evans, will attend the University of Cincinnati and major in health sciences. <laughs> Kelsey Lynn Ferris, daughter of Joe and Trisha Ferris, will attend Clark State Community College and major in nursing. Hannah Ray Farrell, daughter of Raymond and Wendy Farrell, will attend Wright State University and major in nursing. <laughs> Justin Goss, son of Jeanette and Chris Hoskins, will join the workforce. Matthew Byron Grasson, son of Julie Owen, Timothy Grasson, and Christopher Owen, will attend the Ohio State University and major in computer science and engineering. <laughs> Dr.
Derek Grizzle, son of Joe and Stephanie Grizzle, will enter the workforce. Zachary Blake Hackney, son of Paul and Rebecca Hackney, went to the workforce. <laughs> Alexandria Jane Hansen, daughter of Connie and Todd Hansen, will attend University of Cincinnati Blue Ash and major in veterinary technology. <laughs> Kenzie Nicole Harding, daughter of Sean and Krista Harding, will attend University of Cincinnati Claremont and major in nursing. <laughs> Alexander Nicholas Hargrave, son of Brian and Teresa Hargrave, will attend University of Toledo and major in mechanical engineering. <laughs> Robin Elizabeth Hawks, daughter of Michael and Angela Hawks, will attend Bowling Green State University and major in psychology and art. <laughs> Devin Matthew Hendricks, son of Matt and Brandis Hendricks, will attend Bellarmine University and major in physical therapy. <laughs> Maria Robles, Daughter of Manuel Robles and Olga Hernandez will attend Sinclair Community College and major in veterinary science. <laughs> Alex Christopher Hilbig, son of David and Rachel Hilbig, will attend Sinclair Community College and major in aviation technology. <laughs> Rihanna Sue Hildebrand, daughter of Robert Hildebrand Jr. and Regina Staup will enlist in the United States Air Force. <laughs> Madeline Elizabeth Hines, daughter of Lucas Helson and Corey Bailey, will attend Sinclair Community College and major in nursing. <laughs> Spencer Holland, son of Randy and Angel Holland, will attend Clark State Community College Majors then decided at this time. <laughs> Wade James Hoyle, son of Kenny and Teresa Hoyle, will attend University of Cincinnati and major in digital media. <laughs> Chase Gunner Jordan, son of John and Liz Jordan, will attend Sinclair Community College and major in fire sciences. Jacqueline Rose Kasner, daughter of Neil and Heather Kasner, will attend Sinclair Community College and major in exercise science. <laughs> Riley David Kilberger, son of Amy Kilberger, will be enlisting in the United States Army. Yeah, Riley! <laughs> Bryson R.J. Knopf. Son of Amanda and Bill Knopf, will attend Wilmington College and major in accounting and business. <laughs> Mackenzie Ann Knopf, daughter of Melissa Carpenter and James Knopf, will attend Wright State University and major in business. <laughs> Savannah Shea Knowles, daughter of Crystal Ritchie and Josh Knowles, will attend Sinclair Community College and major in digital design. Lillian Marie Linkart, daughter of Bobby Linkart Wolfeck and Dustin Wolfeck, will attend The Ohio State University and major in criminology and psychology. Grace Ann Lucas, daughter of Todd and Heather Lucas, will attend The Ohio State University and major in early childhood education. Hannah Nicole McLeese, daughter of Carl and Lisa McLeese, will attend Cincinnati Community College and major in Diagnostic Medical Sonography. <laughs> K. 
Caitlin Ray McDonald, daughter of Ryan and Terry McDonald, will attend Miami University and major in accounting. Kelsey Lauren Merriman, daughter of Amy and Mark Merriman, will attend Wilmington College and major in criminal justice. Tyler James Morris, son of Ron and Jennifer Morris, and Brenda Mann will attend the University of Cincinnati and major in electrical engineering. Jackson Rome Nix, son of Missy and Sean Nix, will attend Wright State University and major in mechanical engineering. Coy Robert Payton, son of Brian and Casey Payton, will be joining the workforce. Tian Chu, son of Xia Jia Chu and Wei Shi Chu, will attend the, the Ohio State University and major in astronautical and aeronautical engineering. Christopher Robert Query, son of Jana Query Stewart, will be joining the U.S. Army. <laughs> Bryce Sierra Ratliff, daughter of Jeff and Tiffany Ratliff, will attend Ohio University and major in nursing. Thomas Lawrence Rollins, son of George and Tracy McKnight, will attend St. Clair Community College and major in fire science. Austin Reagan, son of Brian and Angela Reagan, will attend Wittenberg University and major in pre-engineering. McKenna Elise Penowit, daughter of Nathan Penowit and Tony Haver, will attend Wright State University and major in nursing. <laughs> Joshua Dale Robinson, son of Jennifer Michaels and Brett Robinson, will attend Clark State Community College and major in business administration. Noah Michael Rogers, son of Gary and Beth Rogers, will attend Wright State University and major in International Studies. <laughs> Braden Scott Roseman, son of Emily Kate Roseman, his future plans are undecided at this time. <laughs> Cody Rowe, son of Sherry Bogan, and Brian Rowe will attend Sinclair Community College and major in computer science. <laughs> Levi Frederick Ruddick, son of Lori and Duane Ruddick, will attend Capital University and major in exercise science. <laughs> Trey Darian Rutherford, son of Robin and Paul Rutherford, will attend University of Cincinnati Blue Ash and major in business. <laughs> Ashley Brooke Schloss, daughter of Tommy and Melissa Schloss, will attend University of Northwestern Ohio and major in business. <laughs> Adam Shornack, son of Mary Ann and Timothy Shornack, will attend Sinclair Community College and major in liberal arts. <laughs> Bryce Alexander Siegfried, son of Terry and Jenny Siegfried, will attend Capital University and major in film and media production. <laughs> Nicholas Dean Shaw, son of Dean and Cheryl Shaw, will attend The Ohio State University and major, major in Ag Business and Animal Nutrition. <laughs> Corey Short, son of Tammy and Andy Davis, will join the workforce.
Emily Smith, daughter of Robert and Jenny Smith, will attend Case Western Reserve University and major in cognitive science. Emily Marie Snavely, daughter of Chris and Andrea Snavely, will attend Wright State University and major in nursing. <laughs> Alexis Elaine Snyder, daughter of Jennifer Day, her future plans are undetermined at this time. <laughs> Catherine May Sparr, daughter of Julie and Greg Sparr, will attend First Impressions Dental Assisting School and major in dental assisting. Sarah Nicole Staley, daughter of Philip and Tracy Staley, will attend Wright State University and major in early childhood education. Taylor Michael Stinson, son of Troy and Tobias Stinson, will enlist in the United States Air Force ROTC. Jaron Riley Stoneburner, son of Aaron and Ramsey Stoneburner, will attend The Ohio State University and majoring in welding engineering. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth Sweat, daughter of Angela Sweat, will attend the University of Cincinnati Claremont College and major in health sciences. <laughs> Ian Tamplin son of Matt and Kristen Tamplin, will attend the University of Mount Union and major in electrical engineering. <laughs> Abigail Nicole Tills, daughter of Heather and Bob Hildebrandt, will attend the Aveda Institute and major in cosmetology. Gabrielle Grace Toby, daughter of Lou and Jan Toby, will attend Sinclair Community College, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Keith Tomlinson, son of Judy and Larry Tomlinson, will enter the workforce in lawn and landscaping. <laughs> Crystal Turner, daughter of Cynthia and Kirby Turner, will be entering the United States Marine Corps. Caleb Van Horn, son of Mike and Angie Van Horn, will be entering the United States Air Force. <laughs> Kisman Vaughn, daughter of Jennifer and Matthew Vaughn, will attend Clark State Community College and major in occupational therapy. <laughs> Kaylee Ann Vipperman, daughter of Bob and Krista Vipperman, will attend Mount, uh, Mount Vernon Nazarene University, majoring in chemistry, focusing in a pre-physician's assistant program. <laughs> Samantha Ann Webster, daughter of Lori Mangan and Christopher Webster, will enter the field of business. <laughs> Sydney Ann Webster, daughter of Lori Mangan and Christopher Webster, will enter the field of business. <laughs> Faith McKenzie Whitehead, daughter of Tim and Allison Whitehead, will attend the Dance Masters of America program to train to become a dance instructor. <laughs> Megan Riley Wilcoxon, daughter of Kelly and Bruce Wilcoxon, will attend Wright State University and major in nursing. Colin Michael Keith Wilson, son of Michael and Heather Wilson, will attend The Ohio State University and major in computer information systems. <laughs> Wade Jonathan Wilson, son of Bill and Dulcie Wilson, will attend Sinclair Community College and major in criminal justice. <laughs> Carly Woolley, 
daughter of Don and Shay Woolley, will attend Sinclair Community College and major in nursing. I want to thank you, the class of 2019, for being such wonderful people. This class has undoubtedly excelled athletically and academically. More importantly, you have demonstrated care and compassion for others. Your caring attitude will positively impact Greenview High School further into the future than either your academic or athletic success. As a first year principal, I could not have asked for a better group of people to be our leaders in the classroom, hallways, stage, clubs, and sports. We live in a changing world. While these changes offer exciting opportunities, they do present new challenges. Teenagers today have more pitfalls to navigate than teenagers of any previous generation. Today, there are more readily available substances to harm their bodies and minds. Today, social media creates a fishbowl where young people can feel like their lives are always on display. With these new challenges and many of the same old ones, the character of these young people did not happen by accident. It took purposeful action by the adults who shouldered the responsibility to raise a child. I can think of no greater commitment for a person to make than the sacrifices necessary to provide for, protect, nurture, and create a loving home. Parents, your love is paying off. Ashley used the word bittersweet in your senior video. What an appropriate word to describe many of your emotions right now. You are happy and excited yet you are sad and fearful. You are full of a pride of accomplishment, yet full of a concern for the future. As Emily referred to, you are recalling memories made with your lifelong friends and wondering what will happen to these friendships as your ways part. Some of you have a clear focus and plan for your future. Others of you have no idea what the future is going to hold. Most of you will start on one path and end on another, and that's okay. My final charge to you is as you go through this beautiful journey, not to take counsel of your fears. Don't fear to be great. All of you can be great. You do not have to become internationally famous, written about in history books, or have thousands of followers on that YouTube thing to be great. <laughs> you can be great at your work, whether you're a broker on Wall Street or changing bedpans in a nursing home. You can be great at your studies, whether you're studying multivariable calculus or learning how to wire a three-way switch. You can be great in your relationships, families, hobbies, in every aspect of your life. To become great is simple, but it's not easy. Simply make whatever you're doing great. As Kevin High, Kevin's high jump coach said, jump up. It's simple. It's that simple. However, it must not be easy because a young man with a 4.7 GPA needed to be told that every day for years. Like I said, simple, but not easy. Martin Luther King Jr. had a sermon, and I'm paraphrasing here, if you're called to be a street sweeper, be the best street sweeper you can be. Sweep the streets like Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel. Sweep the streets like Shakespeare wrote plays, 
like Mother Teresa loved. Do such a good job, they put a sign up saying the best street sweeper in the world lives here. Do what you do with such pride and commitment that everyone who comes in contact with it will see it for what it is. Great. This nation was made exceptional by people who were great in humble ways of life. The United States unquestionably does not have a perfect history. However, it still is the greatest hope for mankind, a shining city upon a hill. The Irish statesman, Edmund Burke, shared that society is a partnership not only, not only among those who are living, but between those who are living, those who are dead, and those who are to be born. A community is an unspoken compact between what you have inherited and what you bequeath. The challenge for you, class of 2019, is to combine your care and compassion that will be long remembered at Greenview High School with a commitment to do things in a great way. Live in such a way that the America that you live in and leave for future generations is greater than the one you inherited. Simple, but not easy. Parents and friends, in just a moment, I'm going to present to you the class of 2019. Please remain at your seats as our students collect their caps and recess out of the chapel. Students, I ask at this time that you stand and place your hand on the tassel of your cap. In a ceremonial move used for decades to signify the completion of one journey and the start of another, I now ask you to take your tassel and move it from one side of your cap to the other. It is with great honor that I present to you the Greenview High Class of 2019. 